Stephen A. Smith, if LeBron loses to these undermanned Celtics, how much of a hit will it be on LeBron's legacy? Not much, um, because what we really care about is LeBron versus Kyrie. LeBron losing in the conference finals, oh my lord, LeBron finally lost in the conference finals in the East for the first time in eight years, and you know, he's not going back to the finals. You know, a young up and coming team, exceptionally well coached with enough depth, with enough depth and athleticism to derail you, particularly if you show up but the other guys don't. If Kevin Love is, a, is neutralized, if J.R. Smith and Kyle Korver are neutralized, if Tristan Thompson ain't the factor that he was against the Toronto Raptors, etc. There are a bevy of reasons that the Cavaliers could end up losing this series where you're not looking at LeBron and saying, oh my God, this is on you. But if Kyrie Irving were on that court, after what happened last summer, which led to him wanting out of Cleveland and ultimately getting out of Cleveland, and he were healthy, and he faced the Boston Celtics as its leader and its point guard and its franchise player, and he went up against LeBron and took LeBron out, that is something that no one would ever forget. So to, so, so to me, I'm not excited. I told you, Kyrie, <laughs> Kyrie damn near gave me a hug. I was so depressed looking at him no. in street clothes and not being able to play, okay? I am telling you right now, no matter what happens with LeBron and Boston, it is nothing compared to what we would have been saying if Kyrie were healthy and balling and Boston had taken Surprise, LeBron buddy. James out. LeBron, as far as I'm concerned, is playing with close to house money. What do you think? I feel the opposite. Mm -hmm. I think in the short run, mm -hmm. con our contem his contemporary audiences, LeBron, would feel exactly as you're saying right now, as you're describing. But his legacy would be hurt worse to lose to a Kyrie-less Celtics. In other words, right now the story would be Kyrie left and, you know, if, if Kyrie came back, if he was playing, it would be Kyrie went to this team and then Kyrie's team beat LeBron and we'd all be talking about it. But in history, when you look at it, LeBron's legacy will be he was able to get by Indiana, and then the Cavs started to round into form. Their offense looked unstoppable again. And who are LeBron's crime partners right now? The guys who were there in the beginning of the season. Remember, the only two guys who were really playing well in the beginning of the season were Corver and Kevin Love. As the season wore on, Kevin Love. And once again, they're back to playing really well. And LeBron is going crazy, as always, in the playoffs and they just destroyed the number one seed in the East. If they, so, so it's like, as you always say, no excuses, LeBron. You're playing with an all-star, four-star player in Kevin Love. You got an all-star. You have other useful pieces. You're surrounded by shooters. You guys have fig you know, figured it out. If LeBron loses, as I said, I think Brad Stevens gets a tremendous amount of credit for figuring out a way to beat LeBron James, but don't forget who he's really being compared to. When we say legacy with LeBron, we are not comparing him to Larry Bird or Magic Johnson, who didn't always make the finals and sometimes lost in the finals. We are not even comparing him to Kobe Bryant, his most recent competitor for title as best player in the league mm -hmm. before Kobe started declining. Mm -hmm. We are comparing him to Michael Jordan, who who, who, who set a practically perfect standard. Mm. So he is com he's being compared to that. You get stopped while you're balling like this with another all-star on your team by a Kyrie-less Celtics, mm -hmm. that's worse for your legacy. I'm going to tell you why it's not worse for his legacy, because I was never comparing him to Michael Jordan. LeBron James has already lost five NBA Finals. Michael Jordan didn't lose one. I, I don't know what comparisons everybody else is talking about, but it ain't in my world. In my world, there is no comparison. I've always been of that position, so I don't look at it that way. And number two, I don't mean house money in a literal sense like you have nothing to lose. I mean it in a sense that when you compare it to Kyrie and what the narrative is going to be and how it's going to be embedded in the brains and the souls of basketball lovers everywhere, what you're going to remember most, LeBron losing to Boston or LeBron losing to Kyrie after Kyrie left Cleveland the very first year. If Kyrie were healthy and playing for the Boston Celtics 
as its franchise player, leading them this season. And he went up against LeBron in a conference finals with a birth to the NBA finals on the line against a dude that is universally recognized as the best in the world, that has been in the last seven NBA finals, that has won three titles in that span. And you knocked that man off after he made you, in your eyes, want to leave Cleveland, and then you go up against it. Why? Because remember, Max, Max was sitting right across from me. Kyrie is second fiddle to LeBron. We all knew that. Kyrie ain't in LeBron's class. Yeah. Kyrie is not this. Kyrie is not that. That's what everybody was saying. And how dare him not want to be second fiddle? How dare him want to be the number one option? That franchise dude. And then you go to another team in the same conference and stop a seven-year a seven year streak of going to the finals. You go directly up against him and you knock him out. That would be a far bigger narrative than Cleveland now losing this be. series to these guys. That's now. what I'm saying. It would be and, now. And legacy we're talking about down the line. Listen, listen. When you remember that, listen. Jordan and Chicago lost to the Pistons before finally win it. What does Max Kellerman religiously bring up? That migraine headache by Scottie Pippen. That's what you remember well, you most. You know what? I, I bring it up because most. no one else – because the narrative for Jordan – We all losing, brought it up, though. The, the narrative for Jordan losing to the Pistons, because people sometimes forget the details, mm. is Jordan had to learn how to win against nah, the Pistons. Max. He finally overcame them. Oh. And my point was, as soon as Jordan had an all-star, it was the end of the Pistons. Yeah, yeah, yeah but Max, I'm telling you right now, every, every basketball fan I've ever known, of all the memories of losing to the Pistons, Distance. The number one memory was, was the was Pippen's migraine. Pippen's migraine, right. and I'm saying, but all I'm saying had he is, lost with was, Pippen, the, it would have been more was, of a mark against Jordan's but, legacy. Right, but because Pippen had the migraine, you remember Pippen. Because Kyrie left, you would remember Kyrie and LeBron. 